All right. Calling all parents. I got to ask you this question. You ever have a moment with your toddler where they maybe stuffed their face with a bunch of cookies they weren't supposed to eat? And when you walk in the room, they got chocolate all over their face. The crumbs are on the ground. Even pieces of the cookie are in their hand. And you say, honey, did you eat your cookie that you weren't supposed to? They go, no, no, I haven't eaten it. I haven't eaten it. And it's right there. I mean, quite literally, their mouth is still filled like chipmunks where they were definitely eating the chocolate chip cookie. Well, folks, this is exactly like that situation. I have been saying it from the very beginning and the flashbang regime has been denying it, denying it, denying it while the cookies are in their cheeks, the crumbs are all over the place, the chocolate chips are everywhere. And folks, they've been denying the fact that this JCPOA is a worthless pile of garbage. And now they're beginning to admit it, even though it's been painfully obvious from the very beginning. I think it's pretty unbelievable when I see an article with the headline, the Biden administration is closer than ever to admitting the talks in Vienna to return to the nuclear deal with Iran have failed permanently, Israeli officials have reportedly said. Duh! I mean, really? Wow, I think for the first time, the Biden administration has experienced a... Maybe one of those moments. The truth is coming out and they're realizing it. And this one is absolutely insane, folks. I mean, think about it. They want the United States to remove the IRGC off the terror list. I mean, think about that for a second. Let's not call them terrorists anymore. I guess they would suspect that that would be okay since the Biden regime has already already removed the Houthis in Yemen, the Yemenis Houthis off that list and a few others. Folks, they have lost their mind. Their whole administration is about as crazy as Flashbang himself and the things that they are doing is absolutely crazy. How about this? Did you ever think that a deal like the JCPOA would work when you offer to pay Russia $10 billion to build a nuclear facility in Iran and the whole time they build a nuclear facility offering to remove any sanctions from off of them? Oh yeah, that's part of the JCPOA, folks. And I'm telling you this right now, this thing has has been a failure from the very beginning. From the time that the Kenyan initiated it with old Flip Flopper, I can tell you this right now, it has never worked, it never will work. Why? Because it is in essence a document that gives Iran permission to basically build enough of an arsenal to attempt to destroy Israel. And by the way, I got news for you. You can let uh, Iran do whatever they want to do. And yes, they will eventually attack Israel with Russia and of many other nations, but I can tell you this right now, they all going to lose. They're going to lose real bad. You want to know why? Because Ezekiel 39 says that when no other nation chooses to get involved, God will, and he will smash the enemies of Israel. And I got news for you. Israel ain't going anywhere, folks. All of this stuff is unbelievable. You can't make this stuff up, but it's all evidence of the fact that we are living very much in the last days. So guess what? Time to look up. Jesus is coming soon. God bless you guys.